This is Dell's XPS 15 2-in-1, and it's a laptop we've been looking forward to for a long time. And for good reason, Dell has taken the XPS brand that we all know and love and thrown in some really interesting and exciting new technology into the different components of this laptop. So let's take a look and see if Dell managed to pull it off without any serious compromises. As far as the overall look and feel of this laptop, everything should be pretty familiar. It's got a silver aluminum chassis, those tiny thin bezels, a black carbon fiber finish across the inside, and of course, that awkwardly placed webcam beneath the display. But that's not where Dell has chosen to reinvent the wheel this time around. The most exciting thing about the XPS 15 2-in-1 is under the surface. It's the chip sitting at the heart of this computer. So rather than your typical U-series processor that you'd find in a mid-tier or high-end laptop like this one, the XPS 15 2-in-1 comes with a brand new chipset from Intel called the G-Series. So what's so special about them? Well, they come with an onboard AMD Radeon Vega graphics component. That's right, Intel and AMD, one of the oldest rivalries in technology, have joined forces to make this chip possible. And the results are actually pretty impressive. What you get is processing speed that's comparable or faster than U-series CPUs, and graphics performance that rivals a mid-range NVIDIA GTX graphics card. That's right, this relatively thin and light laptop can game. Plenty of laptops claim to mash gaming capability into a sleek chassis, but very few actually deliver on that promise. The XPS 15 2-in-1 is one of those laptops that actually does pull it off. We've tried all sorts of games ranging from easier titles like Fortnite and Rocket League, where you can max out graphic settings and even pull off some 4K at decent frame rates, all the way up to heavy hitters like Battlefield 1 and Civilization 6. The performance lands pretty squarely in between a GTX 1050 and a 1050 Ti. In other words, you can play most games on this laptop at smooth frame rates with the graphics turned up. Don't expect to max out Battlefield 1 and 4K, but for lighter gaming experiences, the XPS 15 2-in-1 handles them like a breeze. The thermal system, which includes gore material and larger, more efficient fans, means Dell has maxed out the performance here. It also means it runs a bit louder once those fans click on, but that's the trade-off you get. We also notice it gets a bit hot right over the left side of the keyboard, which is unfortunate when you're playing a shooter like Fortnite and your hand is permanently over that section of the keyboard. But all that is under the hood. The first thing you actually notice about the XPS 15 2-in-1 is the display. Dell has been implementing some of the best panels we've ever seen on laptops over the past few years, and it's only gotten better this time around. It's brighter, maxing out at 433 nits. It's more colorful, showing nearly 100% of sRGB and Adobe RGB color spaces, and has better contrast ratio. It does get a markdown for the higher score in average color error, but overall, this is one of the best displays we've ever tested. Not everything on the XPS 15 2-in-1 is a home run, though. The keyboard is an example of a technology that Dell has implemented that's not quite as urgent as something like a new chipset or display. Dell has engineered a new low travel keyboard in the vein of the MacBook Pro using the same butterfly switches, though combined this time with a magnetic system. It fakes the overall feeling of tactile feedback while only having 0.7 millimeters of travel. The result is a typing experience unlike any other, though we're not sure that it's actually better than a conventional keyboard. It's not something you can't get used to, but it's also not a keyboard I'd prefer over the XPS 15's traditional amount of travel. Dell is investing in the future of low travel keyboards with this magnetic technology, and while it's certainly commendable and needed, I can't say I'd prefer it to using another keyboard. I wouldn't even consider myself a stickler for high travel. If you're a bit ambivalent on key travel in general, this keyboard will work just fine, but it'll definitely take some getting used to. The one area where the XPS 15 2-in-1 is actually a bit behind the competition is in battery life. Even though it has a pretty large 75 watt hour battery, we saw some mediocre results in our battery testing. For example, in our looping video test, our 4K configuration lasted around five and a half hours, which is half of what you get with some of its competitors. Don't even try and compare it to the Surface Book 2, which pushes almost as many pixels and still gets around 18 hours of battery life. Again, a large part of the poor battery life is due to the 4K display, and you'll no doubt get a couple more hours with the full HD model, which is the one we'd recommend. The 4K is great and all, but we prefer the extra battery life and cheaper price any day. Speaking of price, the XPS 15 2-in-1 offers some pretty decent value, again, so long as you stay away from the $2,200 4K model. For your best gaming value, we recommend shooting for the base $1,300 configuration, which has the same AMD graphics component as the spendier models. Just remember, RAM is soldered onto the board, so what you get is what you're stuck with. So despite some of the compromises you have to make in terms of battery life or keyboard, the XPS 15 2-in-1 really does enough things right to get a recommendation from us. Because unless you're willing to spend a lot more money on something like a Surface Book 2 or to sacrifice build quality and design for a cheap gaming laptop, the XPS 15 2-in-1 gives you the best of both worlds all in one pretty package.